Jesus sent the 12 disciples to proclaim the kingdom of God. But what exactly is the kingdom of God? Simply put, the kingdom of God is Jesus himself. Before the apostles could go out throughout the world pro proclaiming Jesus, they first had to get to know Jesus. In the scriptures, we read about how the apostles encountered Jesus and how they followed him throughout his ministry. They ate with him, they prayed with him, and they were present in those moments when Jesus revealed himself as the one and only God through all of the miracles he performed. By spending time with Jesus, they got to know him and eventually came to love him. Their love for Jesus is what drove them to leave everything behind and bring Jesus to others. Let us keep in mind that the apostles didn't simply know things about Jesus. They were in his presence and got to personally experience who he was. Through his gospel, today Jesus is extending an invitation to all of us personally to encounter him if we have not done so already. For those of us who have already personally encountered him at one point in our lives, he is inviting us to re-encounter him. He wants to share something more about himself with each one of us so that we can continue to proclaim him to all those we encounter. There are many ways we can encounter Jesus. We can encounter him by reading the scriptures, through our personal prayer. In a few moments, we will encounter him on this altar where he makes himself completely present to us when the bread and wine are transformed into his body and blood. Unlike the apostles, we are unable to see and hear Jesus as they did. Nonetheless, we can see and hear one another. Are our words and actions proclaiming Jesus, or are they proclaiming something else? If our words and actions proclaim who Jesus is, then we give others the opportunity to encounter Jesus through us. However, our words and actions can also be an impediment for others to encounter Jesus through us. Jesus continually extends an invitation for us to get to know him, so that we too, like the apostles, can proclaim who he is through the world. It is up to each one of us to accept or not accept, but I am sure that he will be overjoyed if we all accept his invitation, and like the apostles, set out from place to place, proclaiming the kingdom of God.